Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Justin Riley, and my first guest is Victor McDonald from Dane County Steel. Victor, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me here. Now, I'm guessing that a lot of us probably haven't even heard about Dane County Steel. It's a semi-pro football team. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about how it got started and how long you guys been doing this. Well, me, myself, I've been playing football 22 years. This year will be my 23rd year of playing football straight. I've not missed a full season since I've been playing since I was 10 years old. And the Dane County Steel started out with a bunch of friends that love to play football. So we've been playing with other teams around Wisconsin, so we decided to start our own team. Oh, very cool. And you guys are part of the um, Wisconsin State Football League, as I understand. Yes, sir. So this is a, this is a legitimate team that's part of a league, and you're going to go and play some, some scheduled games then. Yes, we are. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, who, uh, who are some of the, the folks that you play? Um, we play against teams like, I don't know if for sure if they're still in the league or not, like the Rebels, the Braves, the Destroyers. Just Wisconsin-based teams. Sure. And you guys get to travel all over the state. It's not just southern, southern no, Wisconsin. No, it's not just uh, it's We travel to any city that other teams are in, play, mm -hmm. have fun, hopefully create friendships with other players from other teams. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, the, the idea of creating friendships between the people that you're competing against. I think we need more of that. Yeah, uh, football, is, it should be fun. Yeah. It's all about competitive. Like if you're competitive with someone, you know, a lot of people might be like, hey man, like, let's go hang out afterwards and talk about the game. Like I've been asked to come to um, towns and I've met players in Sheboygan, Green Bay, hang out because it's all about having fun and just being in the same environment with people that love football. Sure. It's, it's always a great feeling. Yeah. You're sharing that love of football and that love of competition as well. It's, it's so. the passion. Yeah. The passion of the game. Absolutely. So uh, tell us, uh, when do you start your season and where, where are you playing? Our season starts August 8th. Mm -hmm. That'll be our first game. We will be playing at Breeze Field. Breeze Field is, is our home stadium. Yeah. Our stadium fields 4,000 people. Wow. And if I'm not mistaken, we are the first team that will be playing there. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And that's, that's over on East Washington Avenue here in Madison. Right off East Washington Avenue. Yeah, good place. Yes, it's it is. a great place. So uh, throughout the course of a, a given season, how many games do you play? Ten games, give or take, preseason. Yeah, ten games with preseason? Ten games, regular season. Oh, okay. And we might throw in two preseason games. Sure. Just to get the kinks and bugs out. Sure. Yeah, and that's that's another question I had for you. I mean, this you guys, you're so new that you haven't played any games as as the Dane County Steel yet. Dane County Steel has not played any any games yet. What are some of the the considerations or preparations that you have to make as because you're kind of the the captain of defense? Yes. So what are some of the things that you're thinking about in preparing your team for their very first game ever, not having had any history or anything like that? My main thing is if you play together you'll win. If you're happy playing the game, you'll win. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm mainly like the counselor on the field. So if I see players doing bad, even if it's on defense, offense, special teams, I go over and have a pep talk with them. So like, it's, I've been doing it probably longer than everybody that's on the team. Yeah. So I'm, I'm basically like the pusher. Yeah. But I'm a pusher in a good way. Yeah. You're, you're motivating, but in a positive in way. In a positive way. Yeah, absolutely. Keep people's spirits up. Yes, yes. Yeah, absolutely. So now you've been playing football for 22 years. Yes. So what was, um, I mean, you said you started playing when you were 10 years old. And do you mean playing competitively or playing at all? Competitively. Okay. So how, I mean, what got you into playing football competitively? Did you just decide one day, I think I want to try this? Or did your parents push you to do it? Um, it's a funny story. Um, I got chased home by a dog. <laughs> No kidding. I got chased by a Rottweiler, and my mom, I beat my mom home this day, and she's uh -huh. like, you need to go play sports. <laughs> so I tried out for football, and I was in grammar school. Uh -huh. I was in a Catholic school in Chicago, and I tried out for the football team, and they had me doing kick returns at first. And the coach was like, I, I need you to play offense. Yeah. And I started my running back career there. Awesome. And I got scholarships to go to Leo Catholic High School in Chicago for, to play football again and I've been doing it ever since. Awesome. I just fell in love with it. I don't know. I just 
It just I kind fell of in love, with it. I fell in love with the environment. That's great. I fell in love with the environment. Well, Victor McDonald from Dane County Steel, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure talking to you. No problem. You. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having me here. Absolutely. Don't go away. We've got more Talk the Town coming up right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs>